Jesus in the genealogy, here it is real quick, and we're going to get into more detail about it, but Adam means man, Seth means appointed, Enosh means mortal, Kenan means sorrow, Mahalalel means the blessed God, Jared means shall come down, Enoch means teaching, and Methuselah means his death shall bring, Lamech, the despairing, and Noah means comfort or rest. Put it all together, what do you got? Man appointed mortal sorrow, the blessed God shall come down, teaching his death shall bring the despairing comfort and rest, right? Isn't that great, you guys? I love that. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell too, because you won't miss anything. You will get all the latest episodes. We're doing a series right now, Jesus in the Old Testament. We're starting out, we're in Genesis right now. There's a few videos you might want to go back and check out. Um, but here we are, you guys, and this is so exciting. So we're going to continue on in this and look at more of these scriptures and how this all comes together in these genealogies. So the, the timeline is really interesting in this too, because Here's the big, broad brushstroke of time. Now, we don't know exactly when the beginning was. We don't have dates for that. Now, we know Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were around 2,000, 2,200, uh, 2,300 to 2,000 BC, which simply means before Christ, right? Well, the span of time that Genesis covers is 2,500 years. And this chapter alone, chapter 5, actually covers... So it chapter five actually covers 1500 years of that 2500 years. So it's an interesting time that we, we see that. So let's go back to the uh, illustration here with this big timeline. So we don't know when, when it all started. I believe that God could have created a young earth and just made it mature, just like Adam and Eve were mature, and then that time continues on, but we don't know the exact dates. So that's that's just a quick thing there. Now, Jesus said this, these are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all the things that are written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. And that was Yeshua, and that's recorded in Luke chapter 24, if you wanna look that up. So Genesis 5. Genesis 5, this is the book of the generations of Adam. On the day when God created man, he made him in the likeness, right, or the image of God. And he created them male and female, and he blessed them, and he named them mankind on the day when they were created. The day that they were created, right? The, they were, how old was Adam when God created him? Yes, he was one day old. How old was Eve? One day old. And the beautiful thing about that is they were mature adults. In fact, the, the entire universe was mature. If you think about it, God can do anything, right? All things are possible with God. That's what Jesus said. And he could have made an aged earth, a mature earth, because everything had seeds. Remember in Genesis, the, these were literal days and there was seed and there was trees and there was mountains, there was forests, there was fruit. Only mature trees have fruit and have seeds. And it, it confuses people because they're trying to date and they keep changing the dates of how many billions and millions of years this earth and universe are, but God could have made it mature. Just like Jesus turned the, the wine, the water into wine, it was his first miracle at the wedding in Cana, right? And the host said that this is the best wine. The only wine that's the best wine is aged wine. Jesus instantly made aged wine. So <laughs> God can do anything, you guys. So we have to remember that. We don't want to put limitations on God. So in verse 3, it says, When Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness, according to his image, and named him Seth. So chapter 5 of Genesis, Adam means man, or Adam in Hebrew. Adam means man. And Seth means appointed. And now in verse 6, now Seth lived 105 years and he fathered Enosh. And now Enosh lived 90 years and he fathered Kenan. 
So now let's put it together a little more. So Adam means man, Seth means appointed, Enosh means mortal, and Kenan means sorrow. So man is appointed mortal sorrow. We're not going to live. Remember, death came, and it's a sorrowful thing that we're living in. But it's going to get good. Well, watch this. Now, Kenan lived 70 years and fathered Mahalalel. So <laughs> Mahalalel means the blessed God. So things are starting to shift. Man appointed mortal sorrow, but the blessed God. Okay, verse 15 of Genesis chapter 5. Now Mahalalel lived 65 years and fathered Jared. Now we have Jared's name up there. Jared shall come down. So let's read it again. Man appointed mortal sorrow, but the blessed God shall come down. Jesus, right? God the Son, Jesus. So then verse 18 says, Now Jared lived 162 years, and he fathered Enoch. Enoch's an awesome guy, and God spends a little time on him, talking about him, and he's actually quoted a bunch of times in the New Testament as well, or, or referenced, I should say. So Enoch means teaching. So the blessed God shall come down teaching, continues. Now Enoch lived 65 years and fathered Methuselah. Methuselah means his death shall bring. So now you start to put this together. Isn't this cool? And Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. This is the very first reference to being caught up or the rapture in the Bible. A lot of people don't believe that there is a literal rapture coming where in the blink of an eye, God's going to catch up his people to him at the end when Jesus comes back for his bride, right? Well, yeah, he can do that because he did it with Enoch. He also did it with Elijah. And there's evidence of that right here in Genesis chapter 5. This is the very first rapture, you guys. And I'm actually did an, I'm doing an episode on it where you can check it out. Um, and it's a good video. I think you're going to like it. Check it out. It's You can hit the link right here to get it. So here we go. The rapture, you guys. The first rapture in the Bible. Again, look for this episode and you're going to see how it was the first rapture. Okay, now Methuselah lived 187 years, and he fathered Lamech. Okay, now we're seeing it all come together. Man appointed so mortal sorrow, but the blessed God shall come down, teaching his death shall bring the despairing what? Despairing is hopeless. It's, it's like a horrible state to be in. Genesis 5 continues, now Lamech lived 182 years, and he fathered a son, and he named him Noah saying, this one will give us comfort from our work and from the hard labor of our hands caused by the ground which the Lord has cursed. So here it is, you guys, all together. Adam means man, Seth means appointed. Here we are. Man appointed mortal sorrow, but the blessed God shall come down teaching his death shall bring the despairing comfort and rest. What does Jesus give us? Comfort and rest. And he is all over that Old Testament, you guys. I love that, don't you? And by the way, you might want to click on this playlist right here and you won't miss anything. You'll see all the episodes we've already done on Jesus in the Old Testament. There's been a few already. And then you're going to get all the future ones. If you hit that subscribe button and that little bell, you won't miss anything. I love you guys. Can't wait to go into the next episode with you. And may the Lord bless you and keep you and shine his loving face upon you and give you grace and peace.